And there we go, we unlock the snow biome in less than an hour. Actually, it took me already for the town. We are in it for maybe like uh, 25 minutes. And it's up, guys, it's 10 Kosh. And today I will teach you how to spectre town idle efficiently. So we just started those dunes. First things you want to do, you want to click the wood a little bit. So you will get extra XP that you can get to level up your town. Moreover, uh, you will need that wood in order to get the resources. Your goal is to start getting the land and workers and get the production going. What you would like to do is turn on auto everywhere and put it to the high priority for all your production processes. So don't skip on any of those for all your stores and everything. That's pretty much essential and uh, automation is the way to go. Otherwise, it will take a while for you to do everything manually. You don't want that. Same for the trading post. We turn on the automation and for now we don't set up any priorities later on we will increase priority of unique export and import to uh to high or maybe even highest right now don't touch that you don't want that that will harm you you would like to start importing the resources that you can from other towns that will allow you to get the extra stuff all right so as you can see once we started the trading we started to build and develop way faster because we can import the goods from other towns and that will allow us to get more growth you should start by building some of those uh stores i advise getting 10 of each and since you get automation on they will start selling stuff straight away some of those might be a bit too expensive though make sure that you got enough resources for that also it would be a good idea to get a bit more trading posts once you get this started let's get 16 so overall it will be tra 20 trading posts that will be nice for your first town perks i advise um, you might want to get this but honestly early on you would like to get some land you will have issues with that and maybe some construction speed and cost multipliers so you will be able to get stuff easier and faster also you would like to invest a lot into research speed as soon as possible because you will have to do a lot of research when you level up don't forget to claim that that will give you extra points for the town upgrade and yeah if you want to you can spend of those for your cultivation crafting and harvesting speed but you have other things to do right now and it's not that necessary early on let's get 10 of those schools ready that will allow us to produce more stuff and don't forget the upgrades your most important upgrades will be the uh, exploration because that will allow you to get more land research speed that will speed up the research construction efficiency and like the basic stuff here that will allow you to get more houses more workers and more everything that way you will progress way faster so by only by getting the basic stuff we already get 72 percent down xp multiplier and it's growing really fast let's go into research and put everything on auto here as well because manually doing this will be tiresome be careful though that will get negative in the coins most of the time and if you want to build something that requires those coins you might want to go and uh, pause the research that way you will save up your coins and use them for whatever you want to use them over here for example getting more stores and that kind of stuff if you can afford getting some new stores do that that's not that expensive especially the cheap ones clothing store is already getting on the expensive side gourmet foods is like it's really giving you a lot of money but it's not the cheapest one let's put it like that and we're out of workers so we'll need more houses now okay also since you will need a lot of coins don't forget to assign goods that you would like to sell as your favorite goods for example what can we get here reinforced planks will be a good option because it's expensive and putting it into speciality bam increases its price quite a lot don't forget to change it later right now you need to focus on the thing that you have and that will boost your coin gain you will need that later on so select the goods that you already sell and uh, that's giving you a lot of some type of coins and i would advise getting at least one of each type of coins oh my god we can't reassign something that's been sold in other area and use that that will boost your coin production that you can use for upgrades later sometimes claim all is a good option let's do that because early upgrades are cheap so when you get at least 15 of each type of market uh in the town and they are selling stuff 
a new god, the steady inflow of coins, you can start upgrading your industry because uh, if that's not your second town, you will have enough of resource inflow from the previous town. If it's one of your first town, make sure that the last one have a lot of those market things so you can import stuff from other towns. That will make your life so much easier. Let's get five more of the trading posts. That will allow us to get more good influx. We are already at level 12 because we got pretty good amount of town XP boost over here. And those bonuses will help you a lot. When you start in the new town, click power might be a good option. So you can uh, click on the things that you are lacking and that will improve your production. But if you are planning it right, you won't need that. You will have enough of the... Uh, actual town production so yeah that's a really not the most efficient way to do things so right what's next we will unpause the research that will allow us to get the new stuff we might go negative in coins that's okay and that will change really soon because we will get more production more stuff going in the town meanwhile increase the production capabilities of the buildings that you already have that will allow you to start well doing things and try to focus not early on but later on keep it in mind that you would like to use the productivity bonuses of the area so for the desert right now we have the land bonus that's nice but not that useful and the main bonus goes from the forge that means that we will use that forge uh, more effectively here and we will produce double the amount of resources from that as you will do the research you will unlock more buildings that you can use in order to produce more stuff in the town keep in mind that the first uh buildings are really cheap so the first 10 the first 20 buildings will require basic resources next 20 will require higher tier resources and the higher you go the more it will be and the more expensive it will become so don't go overboard with that otherwise you will regret it also don't forget to turn on automation for all the new uh buildings that you've created that way you will start producing things straight away you can slowly increase the amount of markets in your town that will allow you to get more coins and everything and don't forget that on every oh we need more population that on every 10 multiplier you will get next tier of resource that will increase the market capacity and you would like those capacity upgrades as well but first of all exploration housing skills all that once you're done with the basic stuff over here uh, let's get this one as well. You can start working on other capacity upgrades. So capacity bonuses are the best because they just double your production capabilities. You can just press claim all early on. It's totally fine because you will mm, have to do a lot of upgrades and that will help you out as well. So you won't spend that much time on getting specific research. If you need some specific resource quite a lot or specific thing like the yellow coin for us, you can click on those and uh, try to find the one in the list of the resources that will give you the most if you need the money to make them your speciality. That way you will earn more and early on you can switch those around quite a lot and that will be a pretty easy way to get money. Usually gourmet foods are the best options. Although sometimes you won't have the specific resources that you need. Usually if you got the really strong negative money effect, that means that you started something really expensive that you don't need right now. So check your construction and make sure that you don't go overboard with anything. There we go, another building that we can run and we need more housing now. You can also increase the sale value in your town perks here. That will increase the amount of coins you will get per sale. That's a really good way to get extra money. Trading speed will allow you um, to sell stuff faster as well. So you will need less workers to supply your people with the goods. So always try to make use of those bonuses. Don't forget adding additional stores as the time goes. So you will get higher income of coins and getting some extra trade posts so you can import and export more stuff. And yes, uh, your main goal is to get the amount of uh, traders in the trade post to be positive. So it shouldn't be at the zero. You should have at least like 50 of those guys extra. As you upgrade the trading post, you will be able to increase its capacity once you will get enough money. That will help you to get more traders and import more goods so your town will grow faster that's a really good investment and get it when you can because yeah that will allow you to import more goods and get more coins and overall it's really worth your money other things that worth your money are uh yeah those upgrades here workers per house are really really good because if you need more workers that's a 
thing to do. Skill growth is nice. And obviously, market capacity. That will allow you to get way more traders per building. And uh, yeah, that's always a nice thing because you can import stuff, but you can sell it fast enough. Trading poor storage capacity. That wasn't what I wanted, but we got it anyway. And that's honestly the only way for you to get pretty good, pretty fast income already. So do you remember like we had, uh, we needed 4 million to upgrade the trading post. And right now we are getting like 200K per second. That was fast. Let's get extra sell value here. There we go. And the rest will go into the research speed. That's a lot of money flowing in straight away. And extra capacity for the trading post. That means that we can sell more stuff. And if you will need extra resources that this town doesn't have, if you have extra workers, in the trading post, they will just buy them for you. They will import them from other areas and you will be able to build buildings that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And that's really boosting up your progression and uh, your growth. You can also use construction menu if you want to get more buildings faster. So let's up the stores to 50 of each. That will allow us to get more stuff going. And uh, let's get ready for the production and build like 10 of each pipelines for the, how do you call it, for the importing of stuff. And I want to get five more trading posts so we'll get even more traders. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to use construction menu or go through it manually. I kind of prefer the manual way. It's more convenient for me. Uh, let's get more researchers and unpause the research because we wanted to pause it so we will get more money saved up for the upgrades. Upgrades are being done. We even boosted the research speed again. We increased workers per house. We got more market capacity with some buildings and take a look how fast we are growing. We are getting building after building after building. Everything is growing rapidly. Once you are done with the basics and you get extra workers in the trading post, your next goal will be getting enough XP growth for your town so it will get to the higher level faster because if you want to reach the next biome you will need your previous town to be level 20 so we can reach it in like 20 minutes if we are fast enough and it's not that hard if you do things right basically if you feel that everything else is okay you can start working on your production capabilities so get a bit of everything I, by that, I mean everything. You can even go overboard and go 50 buildings each straight away, but that's a very risky thing. You might be overboard with real expensive things. In the end, you will need them to be pretty high anyway. And since each action will produce XP, that will boost your overall XP production for your town too. The main thing, don't forget to automate your actions. Otherwise, your guys won't work. So yeah, in the end, you will have a lot of buildings being constructed. You will get a lot of research going. So the last thing you want to do when you get enough land, and this area have a lot of land, you can construct the storage things. And I would advise getting like, I don't know, 20 maybe. Don't go overboard because it will kind of shatter your economy a little bit. When you do that, all your production facilities will start working because they will try to fill up those stockpiles and you will get higher and higher and higher XP. That means your town will grow faster. My God, everything is so fast now. So yeah, we are over 1 million XP per second already for the town. We are in it for maybe like uh, 25 minutes and it's already almost level 20. That was really fast. And our town XP multiplier is about 200% already and that's not the limit because once we will get some upgrades for the capacity of markets, we will get even more. Uh, we are progressing. We got the Forger already. That's nice. Let's get the research speed, skills, bonuses, prospecting. We don't need that. Market capacity, daily production capacity, more capacity of stuff. Not sure what exactly do I need right now. I'll just get everything I can. Let's just claim all. That will be good enough. So yeah, we managed to get the town up and running really fast with the... Uh, uh, a lot of XP gain right now. Let's get more research speed. Maybe that will help us to get more unlocks faster. Because yeah, those things can slow you down a bit. After you set up your basics, you want to focus on the unique resources. So in our case, it's cactus and I think this uh, ruby ore. So in order to get a cactus, we need better farms. Let's get cactus cultivation speed. 
farm capacity there we go and maybe we need more of those as well we will also need better sand production but our sand is actually pretty full i don't know why i think it just allows us to get quartz faster yeah you can use it from sand or from the stone you can create it from the stone the stone mason as well so this is way easier way to get the stone let's make this one lower priority this one higher priority it will be more efficient and you just use the harvester's hut and sand it. it's really easy to get although we don't really have issues with that resource and there we go we unlock the snow biome in less than an hour actually it took me i think 25 30 minutes and i was actually showing you stuff so if i'll do it straight away it would take maybe 15 20 minutes if you have everything set up right in other towns though so there we go after that your town is good you can go to the next area why did we unlock it even though we are not the max level okay basically after that your towns should be balanced a bit so they will have everything been produced right and uh focused on the main resource of that area specific resources that are rare that are nice and you should finish all the researches as well for the researches uh you can get help with those knowledge tomes from other towns and well yeah some things takes a while but you'll get there over time anyway no worries about that and at some point you will get pretty cool upgrades coins sell value always get them because that will allow you to get more coins per sale that's really good then the xp multipliers those are nice as well and after that you can do whatever you want with the different priorities up to you you already have really good running town with good xp gain and good resources so yeah guys let me know in the comments what do you think of this guy if it helped you out and if you get any tips for the new players that are trying to make their town as efficient as possible from the scratch check out the video description for the playlist we got other episodes of factory town idol over there my other youtube channels i need your help with the city building pc channel i need your subs discord and other useful stuff other than that thank you very much for watching it's been Stan Kosh. Have a good one. Bye.